Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another exciting episode for Surfshark Academy, the YouTube channel that works 24 seven to bring you all the latest Surfshark and tech news. So make sure to hit subscribe to not miss a single one of our videos. I hope everyone's having a great summer so far, by the way. It's been quite toasty here in Europe, and I'm not gonna lie, it's been a challenge to survive all these high temperatures. That being said, today's episode is pretty stacked, so let's get going. Well, the Surfshark team has kicked off the summer with a banger. Starting this week, you can now access a brand new privacy tool called Alternative ID. It sure sounds cool, but what is it exactly? To best explain what it does, let me present a scenario for you. Let's say you're signing up for a website and it could be any type of website, be it a marketplace or a forum or even a newsletter that you don't really want but appreciate the discount code that it gives you. If you're registering for an account, then you'll probably need to enter a few personal details, either your email or other information such as your full name or home address. Now, if you care about privacy, you probably have something called a burner email. It's basically an email address that you use when signing up for these less secure websites. And before Alternative ID, I did use this myself and I actually had around five emails in total. However, now with Alternative ID, I can just generate all of that information, including an email, a name, address, etc., and use it to create an account on those less secure websites without fiddling around with multiple email accounts. Alternative ID can also forward any newsletters, verification codes, links, or other emails to your real email address that you use daily. So you can still get the latest news or deals from that website you signed up for without them knowing who you really are. One other use case for Alternative ID is hiding your real identity on various online forums or trading sites. Most websites do hide your sensitive profile info from other users, but it's not always 100% certain. So instead of seeing my real name and email, other users would see generic generated details, making me more private and secure. This is important because not even a VPN will hide this information. So this comes in handy a lot when browsing online. If you're a Surfshark 1 or 1 Plus subscriber, you can try out Alternative ID right now. VPN only users can upgrade their subscription at any time and I really recommend it. And if you don't have a subscription at all, then make sure to use the coupon code called SHARKTUBE found in the description below, which will give you two extra months. Let's get back to Alternative ID now. So once you have your Surfshark 1 subscription, just hop on to my.surfshark.com, log in, and here you'll see a new tab on the left side. Here, you can start generating personas right away. However, what I really like is that you can use Alternative ID on Surfshark apps, or my personal preferred method is via the Surfshark Chrome browser extension, which has been updated to version 4.1.0 and now has an extra tab here where you can generate personas along with an email, and it even has an autofill function which makes creating accounts super easy. If you're on Firefox or Edge, don't worry as they're also getting support in a month or so. And that's Alternative ID. Definitely try it out and let us know what you think about it in the comments below. And don't forget to also share some of your unique use cases besides the ones that I mentioned in this video. Hey, are you tired of seeing that old Surfshark app interface? Well, worry no more because your prayers have been answered. Starting this month, both Surfshark Windows and Android apps have received a neat makeover featuring a nice two-tone color scheme. Like I mentioned in our last video, Surfshark has been changing its colors on both website and social media, and now the first app versions with a new interface are also here. This new design isn't just a visual change, however. For example, on the Windows app, you can now clear your most recent used VPN locations list, a feature that some of you have been requesting for a while now. Besides that, modifying your quick connection location is much easier as well with this new change button. And probably the best feature of this redesign, in my opinion, is something that I personally like to call dynamic dashboard. For instance, if I have auto connect and kill switch features enabled, I'll actually see them on the dashboard right here on the home screen. So depending on the options you enable, the dashboard will adapt to them and have these settings displayed for you. This makes it super easy to see what features you have and enable or disable them much faster than before. And yes, my curiosity got the better of me, so I did try to enable as many features as possible just to see what would happen on the dashboard. And as you can see, you just get a scroll bar with all the features listed. Over on the Android side, the new dashboard has been adapted for the mobile form factor. So here is your new home screen, which will include things like alert, alt ID, antivirus, and VPN. And if you scroll just a bit further down, you'll also see shortcuts to the help center, Surfsharks are for a friend program, and the login with code option. 
Oh, and here's Surfshark Search as well. If you need to access a specific tool, then you can just select the sandwich icon on the top right, or more intuitively, just click on the square directly like VPN, for example, which takes you to the VPN dashboard. But then if you want to go back to the home menu, you can just use the tabs here at the bottom. Also, just like on Windows, the VPN screen on the mobile also has the so-called dynamic dashboard, and you can just access it by dragging this connect area or by tapping on it. And once again, I can see that I have, in this case, IP Rotator enabled and Clean Web. That information is just much more accessible now. But perhaps the most underrated feature of this new dashboard, in my opinion, is the fact that now the connection feedback form doesn't take half the screen. It was something that really bothered me personally, and I'm glad that now it's much smaller, yet hasn't gone anywhere. If you want to try out this new dash, you'll need Windows app version 5.0, and over on Android, the version 3.0 is the one to look for. Additionally, since this is such a big change, you can imagine that there may be a bug here and there. So the Surfshark team is looking into every bug report and patching it ASAP. So any thoughts about this update, put them in the comments below. Pivoting to a new story now, Surfshark's dedicated IP has seen a massive success with a ton of users enjoying the new feature. That being said, there are still some of you who just wanted to see more locations being added. And I'm excited to announce that as of making of this video, Johannesburg, South Africa, Frankfurt, Germany, Tokyo, Japan, and Sydney, Australia, dedicated IP locations are now available for purchase. So if you wanted to get an IP in any of these areas, you now can. Obviously, there are still more locations to come, and for that, you'll just have to stay tuned and wait while the team at Surfshark does their magic and make them available. For now, I'm still a big fan of dedicated IP, and I... From what I've read, you guys seem to be as well, so that's really, really awesome to see. And guess what? We still got even more app updates to talk about. If you use the OpenVPN protocol on Windows, you should see a bit faster connection times as the team have updated the OpenVPN version. Surfshark iOS app has been updated to version 3.12, and with it, it brings live activity support. This is a feature from iOS 16 that allows you to better control your apps. So now with Surfshark, you can use this and it allows you to pause or resume your VPN connection right from the lock screen. Just note that the pause and unpause only works if you're using the WireGuard protocol. And over on the antivirus side, you'll now see a similar two-tone design again, and also a feature that allows you to automatically delete infected files after 60 days. Definitely a nice feature to have. These changes are now live on both Windows and Mac OS. Hey, did you know that sharks don't actually eat people? I mean, just look at how many movies there are with sharks being portrayed as the bad guys. Well, my colleague Victoria had a chance to talk with Paul Cox, the CEO of Shark Trust, which is an organization dedicated to help sharks thrive in our oceans because they are extremely important to the whole ocean ecosystem. Overwhelmingly, um, the biggest issue is overfishing. Um, there was a report out in 2021 which um, which reviewed all of the IUCN red list status for all of the group of sharks and rays and it found about a third of those species, so a third of the 1200 species are in a threatened category, so are threatened with extinction without conservation action. Some species have not been seen for over 80 years. Fishing, pollution and climate change can have a big impact on the lives of all sharks and future generations. And the future is what we feel responsible for. We made this video to celebrate Shark Awareness Day, which happens every year on July 14th. And actually, the day is today when we're shooting this video. So yeah, happy Shark Awareness Day. Definitely go watch the full video and learn more about Surfshark's mascot in the description below. Do you like free stuff? How about a free plane ticket that lets you fly any place you want and have an awesome holiday. I mean, I sure do, and Surfshark is helping us achieve our dreams by hosting a giveaway for a chance to win a thousand dollar worth coupon to fly anywhere. To participate, all you have to do is go to your favorite location anywhere in the world, then open up the Surfshark app, connect to the VPN, and then just take a photo with the Surfshark app visible in the background. Yes, this does mean that you may need two phones for this, but in my case, I would just borrow my mate's phone and maybe bring them along to my holiday just because they let me do that. Final step is just to simply post your picture on a social media, either on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter, and add hashtag Surfshark giveaway, and that's it. That's all you gotta do. It's pretty awesome. Anyway, best of luck to all of you, and you have time until September 30th to post your photo. And the winners will be announced on October 16th, so you probably will hear it on this YouTube channel. 
For even more details, I'll leave a link to the surf truck blog post explaining everything you need to know in the description below. And our last bit of news is about Surfshark snagging yet another award. This time it comes from Forbes Advisor for best VPN for unlimited connections. Forbes states, quote, in a market of copycat VPNs, Surfshark manages to stand out with a list of unique features that includes split tunneling, allowing you to send only selected apps through the VPN tunnel and multi-hop connections, which bounce your tunnel across multiple servers for extra security, end quote. I personally mentioned Surfshark's unlimited connection feature multiple times, and we even ran a few polls on our channel asking you guys how many devices you guys tend to use with Surfshark. So I'll use this opportunity to say it again. Connect all of your devices with Surfshark. It's a super unique feature among VPNs, and so make sure to take full advantage of it. Next, let's move on to our community poll overview. YouTube polls are a fun way to interact with all of you guys and fans of the channel, so make sure to vote on the next poll via our community section. And this time, we asked you guys, how many different VPN countries do you connect to? The vast majority of you picked the option of one to three. Now, this doesn't surprise me as even myself, I usually hover between perhaps five VPN countries that are, are sort of my go-to connections for specific services and apps. But having that high quantity of servers is very important to me because if I ever need to connect to, I don't know, Romania or something, I will have that option with Surfshark. And finally, our comment of the day comes from RetVet0609 asking, when will split tunneling be available on iOS and Mac devices? I picked this one specifically because on the Surfshark subreddit and other social media channels, I do see this question come up a lot. And the sad reality of it is that unlike on Android or Windows, creating a split tunneling bypasser feature is very, very difficult. For an extra comment, I spoke with the man behind it all, Justus Puki, Surfshark VPN product manager, and he stated, quote, we hear feedback from Surfshark users and we would love to add split tunneling on Apple's iOS and macOS platforms. Unfortunately, such a feature is simply not possible on iOS, specifically due to its network API limitations. On the other hand, macOS does have a way to implement split tunneling. However, it's not as straightforward as we would hope it to be. That being said, we do have plans to release split tunneling for macOS in the future, end quote. So there you have it. On Apple's iPhone, bypass your feature is just simply not possible to implement. However, on macOS, it is possible, yet very challenging on a technical level. It is a bummer, no doubt, but you know, not having these features on your iPhone or Mac. But I will say that I did find that if you're using Apple's iOS 16 shortcut automations, you can actually mimic the bypasser functionality pretty closely. And we did make a whole video about it on how to do it. I'll leave that video right here if you want to watch it and I'll see you next time. Take care.